So the big question is this, how do investors like us who trade options and manage our own money generate income regardless of where the stock market goes and do it all in a way that lets us make time for the people and things we love and yet still build wealth and remain profitable? That's the question and this podcast will give you the answer. I'm your host, Kirk Duplessis, and you're listening to The Daily Call from Option Alpha. Hey everyone, this is Kirk here again from Option Alpha and welcome back to The Daily Call. Today we're going to be talking about the basic business model behind the options trading as a professional. So here's the thing. Every business has a definable profit or edge that they are going after and all it comes down to is effectively spread. So you can think about every single business, every single possible business out there. And what they're all going after is some conceivable spread between cost and revenue. So somewhere where they can make money as a profit. In case of trading, with specifically as options traders and option sellers, what we are going after, our primary advantage is implied volatility and the edge that is derived between the expectation and the actual volatility of underlying prices. We have no discernible edge in market direction. So that's something that people oftentimes don't understand is that we're not trying to go after a directional edge in the market. We're trying to go after an implied volatility edge in option pricing. Now, fundamental stock investors are trying to go after an edge that is different between market price and the fundamental value of the company. So it's no different. They're just going after it potentially a different way. And they're not necessarily going after it all in a directional fashion of like only the stock could go up. Sometimes they might sell stock that is overpriced compared to its fundamental value, which could be much lower. So that's where most trading happens is within this edge. Now, I just want to give you some other examples so that you understand that it's all the same thing. It's all just trying to go after this spread or this edge in many businesses. Now, a service-based business like a painter or home builder is trying to go after an edge between the cost of labor and tools and supplies and how much somebody would pay to have their house built or their house painted. It's all the same thing. They're just trying to go after that spread. In e-commerce, if you're selling towels or chairs or jeans or something online, you're trying to capture a spread between how much you have to manufacture or buy or build a product and how much you can sell it for in the market. In restaurants, the food and the service and the experience allows you to charge a premium or a spread above and beyond the actual cost or raw ingredients of the food and the you know the actual entertainment or whatever is associated with the restaurant like the napkins and the silverware right restaurants are just trying to charge a premium compared to what it actually costs to prepare the meal in insurance we see the same thing with policy pricing so insurance companies will price an insurance policy at a likelihood that you're going to get in a car accident, your house is going to burn down, or you're going to die sooner than you might actually or might actually end up happening. So that edge in pricing comes from the expectation that you, you know, have an event happen sooner than what they know might actually happen in the long run. Casinos do this same thing where they have an odds edge in the game. So they have some sort of mechanism in all of the games that gives the casino a slight edge in pricing or a slight edge in the win rate or the payout, something that allows them to create a spread between you and them and allows them to generate a profit long term. Now, what you can see in all of these things, if you really look at all of these disciplines, every type of business out there, is that no business is based on one transaction. No business is based on one particular person making a transaction and then causing a huge profit. It's all based on repetition, selling a lot of homes, selling a lot of chairs or towels if you're in e-commerce, feeding a lot of people if you're in the restaurant business, writing a lot of insurance policies if you're in insurance, getting a lot of people to play games if you're in the casino business. It's all based on probabilities and numbers, the expected outcome of what you are trying to go after. And so please don't think that options trading is any different. It's the same basic business fundamentals and the same basic business model applied to just a different area. And all we're trying to do is go after, again, the implied volatility spread and the option pricing differential. So hopefully this helps out in kind of understanding it. Maybe you might even try to explain it to somebody else, maybe a colleague or a family member. It always is a good idea to try to explain some of these topics to them and hopefully reinforce the learning in your own mind. So as always, if you guys have any questions, let me know. And until next time, happy trading. 
Thanks for joining us on The Daily Call. Be sure to subscribe right now for more daily options trading ideas, strategies, and tactics to help you learn how to play smarter, more profitable trades. And if you like what we're doing, don't forget to give us a rating and a review so we can continue to bring you the best daily content possible. We'll see you again tomorrow right here on The Daily Call from OptionAlpha.com.